So in the previous example, we have seen how to create a text box using the entry class. So now we'll be seeing a method insert. So whenever we want some default values on the text or randomly we want to pick the text from another variables, we can use this insert method. So first let us look what we have created. So for that press F5. So see here this was our window. So suppose we want some default values here. So we can use the method insert. So how to use it? Let us see. Let me close this first. So here in the first let us say we want some default values. So, so for that we should have to called e1 dot insert and insert that you pass first 0 comma and then let us say Peter so this is for the first name so and the last name also if you want any default value you can write insert and insert that 0 comma the values let us say job let us first run this program See here we got the default value Peter and John. We can also get the default value from the variables. Let us see. Let us assign some. Let us say this is for email. So let us create a variable like anything. Let us say v1 is equal to. Let us create like Peter at gmail.com. So we can also get this one insert and pass the values 0 comma v1 and the same thing we will do with the country. Let us create a variable first and create a country let us say Australia and then e4 dot insert 0 comma v2 now let us see see here so everything is everything is present now if you want to enter a new new member we should have to always we should have to delete and write we should have to delete this and write instead of that let us create a button here down for the new entry whenever we click the new entry all this should be clear so for that there is a method called delete so so for clearing the text there is a method called e4 dot delete delete method so we should have to pass the values 0 comma capital end so this will clear the text so now let us see the output see here this one is deleted like this we can delete all these values and so let us create a button and then clear all these values let us say button a comma text is equal to let us say new entries dot grid and inside this grid let us say row 4 comma let us give it column 1 and here we will write the command comma command is equal to let us say 
m entry m stands for method we can give any name i am giving it m entry now let us define the method here diff entry so what we'll do we'll be clearing all this one so first let us clear clear delete 0 comma e and d so let me copy this copy and delete all the entries okay first let me paste it okay delete this one three and four now let us see the output row 4 is not defined so we have made a typo mistake which is here row is equal to 4 press f5 enter column is equal to 1 see here now we have got the default values now we want the new entries so for that new entries now we can enter new entries hope you understood the methods insert and delete for the entry so in the next example we'll we in the next video we'll be seeing one example using all this like insert method delete method and the entry class using these three we'll be seeing a example so until then, keep practicing. Meet you in the next video.